Each of these cards contains a detailed scenario of a possible apocalyptic event. The word that best describes today is Thursday. We're going to keep our jobs in America. I love this country as much as the next guy. Not if the next guy's me. Now let's get this party started. Yeah, baby. Showtime. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. After just seven days, Avengers Infinity War blasted past $800 million at the box office. Before this coming weekend is over, Infinity War will have surpassed $1 billion globally, and still it hasn't opened in Russia or China. Last night on Jimmy Kimmel Live, Mike Myers talked about Vern Troyer's passing. Your friend and uh, co-star Vern Troyer yes. passed yeah. away a couple yeah. of weeks ago, mm -hmm. and you spoke at a a service for him. I did not speak. Oh. I went to a service. Oh, you went to the um, service, Nobody right. spoke. Uh, it was the most amazing thing. Vern was a fantastic human being. And, um, yeah. A good, you, you worked with him for a long time. I worked with him for a long time. Yeah. Uh, and a great comedian. I always just want to make that point that, as written, Mini-Me is, like, almost a prop. But he brought it up off the page, made it better than written, and we just ended up giving him more and more stuff to do. But a great physical comedian, a great dancer, just a fantastic guy. And at the memorial they played, he died at 49. He wasn't supposed to live past his teens. And um, you saw 150 years worth of life in this photo montage. Everybody was just watching this thing. I think it's weird, but I love hearing device. that you had a real relationship with him because you never know. You see people in, in movies together, and some a lot of the time they just never really, but that's it. You do the movie and you move on. Yeah, he was, um, you know, Vern was very small, like very small. I did small. notice that. That, I, that was one of the first things I noticed about and him. <laughs> Every day you see him, you go, wow, that is a small human. Yeah, right, yeah. But by the end of the day, you just saw Vern, you know, it just sort of went away. And uh -huh. it's just a, a sweet, just he was part of the cast and fantastic. Shania Twain kicks off her Shania Now Tour tonight in Tacoma, Washington. The tour will make more than 40 stops this spring and summer before wrapping up in Las Vegas late August. If you're drowning in credit card debt or owe tens of thousands of dollars in taxes to the IRS, you can contact services that will practically wipe out your debt with the credit card companies and the IRS. Or you can stop buying so much crap that you don't need and actually pay off your creditors and the government like other full-grown responsible adults. That's right. Our plan for eliminating your credit card and tax debt is simple. Stop blowing tens of thousands of dollars on luxury products and impulse buys like the new iPhone or 4K Ultra HD big screen TVs that you put on your five nearly maxed out credit cards. Stop buying expensive clothes and taking exotic vacations that you simply cannot afford. Stop going out to eat at fine restaurants every weekend and cook yourself a ham hamburger and baked beans at home, you moron. And for the love of God, stop having so many freaking kids. Seriously, just stop. In short, grow up and stop looking for a bailout like this freeloading jerk. A $90,000 debt settled for $45,000. To me, that's a no-brainer. This message brought to you by people who aren't weaselly deadbeats. Reports say Trump attorney Michael Cohen owes $280,000 to back taxes. Isn't that incredible? Wow, the president had sex with a porn star named Back Taxes. Meanwhile, the leaders of South Korea, China, and Japan are planning to meet next week to discuss North Korea. President Trump will not attend because he says, I'm tired of trying to tell them apart. Camille Cosby called the verdict against her husband mob justice. She used that term specifically because witch hunt is already being used by another sexual predator. The Boy Scouts have changed their name to simply Scouts, or the Scouts formerly known as Boys. Oh, and by the way, I don't care that the Boy Scouts are opening up to accept girls. What I care about is whether or not this means more Thin Mints in my life. Large sinkholes in Florida are causing evacuations there. Wow, it's pretty crazy. Even Florida is trying to eliminate Florida. The president of France mistakenly referred to the wife of Australia's prime minister as delicious. Sex and food. Don't the French ever think of anything else? 
Hobby Lobby has begun returning thousands of stolen ancient documents and artifacts it purchased from smugglers working in Middle Eastern Bible lands. In related news, Bed Bath & Beyond announced plans to return the Shroud of Turin. A Long Island man turned himself in to face charges connected to a string of robberies that he committed while wearing a surgical mask. You know, I'm not excusing him, but this would never happen if they paid nurses a decent salary. A career criminal attempting to shoplift at a Massachusetts Walmart left his fingerprint on a hunk of Play-Doh. He also drew his own mugshot with an Etch-a-Sketch. Time for Nobody Gives a f Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos says he's planning to spend the majority of his fortune getting himself into space. He said, you know, I've seen what you people buy and frankly, I don't want to be near you. Hey, richest guy in the known universe. Nobody gives a f New study looks at the wood frog, which allows itself to freeze solid in the winter, then thaw back to normal in the spring. All winter, it never wakes up to urinate. All winter. You know, I'd settle for one night. Hey, amphibians, nobody gives a f and pet psychologists say that dogs have names for their owners. Not good. That means my dog has named me something obnoxious like, say, Chicago or Northwest. Hey, canines, nobody gives a f Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests live Tuesdays and Thursdays on NSS.